Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video. Huh? I'll see it in just a minute. Yes. The Eagles are going to the Super Bowl. I am like on cloud nine. Can I have a big party? Yes, we're going to have a big Super Bowl party over here. And honestly, that leads me to like just talk about like I always watch the football games with Damar and then my brother. It's so funny because these past yeah, two look, playoff games. Look at that. Okay, it's just water. Whenever they come over, I have like so many Eagles jersey that I'm like. I give them they an Eagles jersey like to wear. Insane. Katie and Addie are still sleeping. Last night we actually went out to dinner for Maria's birthday, even though that was like 10 days ago. I am going to get the girls ready for swim. And Katie and Addie are still knocked out upstairs. Honestly, it doesn't, it's not like that big of a task for me to do. I've done it before. But the hardest part is like the hair because I feel like there's like certain hair that you have to do for swim. So I'm just gonna put it up in just like a ponytail. And then I've, Kate, I've seen Katie do that a bunch of times. So. I think that that should be sufficient enough. Like I said, we went to dinner with Damar and Maria last night. We they we drove up together and I took the car seats out. So okay, girls, come here. Ella, just come over here for now, okay? We're gonna switch them back around. We just put them in really fast. Ella, sit there. You can sit here. Okay, so we are at a red light and we are on the way to swim. Obviously, we are going to be there just in time. I don't know. Hopefully, nobody has to go P O T T Y because that would be bad. Good morning, you guys. It is so cold outside today. It's like negative something degrees outside. It is snowy. It's like gloomy outside, but we're not letting that bring us down. We've been doing so well this month with our goals and making sure our health is right on track. And when I say health, I mean like mental health, physical health, like everything. We're making sure everything is good this year. And so far, it's been really good. Like January has flown by and normally I get super just like down in January. I hate the month of January, but this year it's gone by so fast and I feel like it's been a great month honestly i'm gonna share with you guys something that's been part of my routine like i said i've kind of shared my goals with you all of how i'm kind of staying on track and staying motivated throughout the month today i'm partnering with peak and they have teas and supplements that are meant for radiant skin and for your health so i'm just going to share a little bit about them with you i feel like hydration is definitely key to having radiant skin i feel like so many people will tell you that if you're going to the gym if you're chasing kids around all day long if you're working all day long like staying hydrated is is key. So this is Peak's BT Fountain Beauty Electrolyte Drink. Honestly, besides all this, besides staying hydrated, electrolytes are so important for me and my health when it comes to my heart. There are 28 little packets that come in this. It is non-GMO, it is vegan, it is cruelty-free, and it's used to help with that youthful skin to keep you hydrated all day long. You all know, I've said it so many times that I struggle with my skin's hydration, and I love these drinks because, I, again, not only are they hydrating, but also it's like healing and hydrating from the inside out. And it helps like reflect that in your skin. You know, returning 25 this year, I have three kids. These also help with like fine lines and wrinkles. I'm doing anything at this point to prevent the face from getting fine lines and wrinkles. Not to mention if you are like trying to stay sugar-free this year or whatever, like this is sugar-free and it is very tasty. For all of my matcha girlies out there, they got you. Matcha is like on the rise right now. I feel like everyone loves matcha. Also, it has all the same benefits for radiant skin and for energy in this one. So honestly, if you're looking for energy, hydration, radiant skin, dynamic duo right here. For a limited time only, you guys can go to peaklife.com slash kbmbaby and you can get this for 15% off. This duo right here for 15% off plus free shipping. And when you buy this dynamic duo right here, you will get a free beaker and frother when you purchase. So if you click the link down below, it'll take you straight there. Peaklife.com slash kbmbaby. You don't want to miss out. So in one of the last videos, I showed that Addie got her, like I got a name sign for her room and it wasn't made correctly the first time it came in in the wrong color. So I messaged the seller and I told her like I just said to her my receipt and was like hey um, I was sent to the wrong one or like it was made with the wrong colors And so she sent me another one and I don't know if I've shown very much of Addie's room But her crib is like on one side of the wall and then her dresser is on the other side and honestly Well, she's sleeping right now. So there's nothing that I can do, but I'm thinking about possibly Moving her bed to the other side where the wallpaper is and moving her dresser over to the side of the wall where I'm gonna put her name sign because our bathroom or like the kids bathroom is on the other side of the wall that she's sleeping on so it makes it hard at night when the kids need to go to the bathroom or if we're trying to give them baths while she's sleeping it just it just doesn't work because if she's sleeping and we turn on the water she can hear it through the wall so I I haven't even told Ben this actually but I think I want to switch them I don't think it'll be too hard I think I want to switch those so that it'll be easier for us to do things while she's sleeping that way she's not like right 
as close to the door and to the wall you know so we're gonna I, I might do that when she wakes up she's been taking a really long nap it's 4 10 and she has been sleeping for a very long time i think when she wakes up i'm going to try and reevaluate the room situation and possibly hang up her name sign and all of that stuff look who's awake look who's awake i told ben like the idea that i had of switching her crib and her dresser and he was like oh that's exactly what I want to do too it's so hard to like lay her down like we both have the same struggles with putting her down to bed and the doorway is right there as you can see and her bed is right here whereas over here is the dresser right there and, and we have like an original like originally we were going to do it like remember I, I made this argument I was like with it right there as soon as you open the door it'll be like right in her face but I remember like you were talking about like how you wanted like the rocking chair in the corner yeah, I think I was just worried about I wanted the rock the I wanted the crib centered on this wall and I couldn't do that because of the rocking chair, but now I don't really care. I'm like I just want it away from this because if we have to give the girls a bath or whatever, anything, oh, the flush the toilet, right anything, like as she's sleeping, yep. it's like guaranteed to wake her up at this point. So we're gonna switch it and see how it goes. Also, Addie's two top teeth are they are about to bust <clears throat> through the seams. Like she has had a rough go the past yes. like, two weeks waking up so many times throughout the night that's the reason why ben took the kids to swim this morning is she and i were still sleeping okay we moved the dresser to the side and put up her sign which is so cute i don't know what to do with this other one though we just like put it over on this side <laughs> that'd be way too much i think it's it so there? cute on, on that wall we're not gonna have a name right next to each other like two of them what I'm talking about her other name sign. Oh, you're with that mirror. No, I'm talking about her other oh, name sign. I think you save it. Okay, the girls are totally fine. They're just going crazy playing with each other. But I always get stumped. Like, I'll do one thing in their room recently, and then I'll stop for, like, a while. Because I just, I don't know, I want to do it right. And so we got this up. It looks really cute. I really I like it, actually. Yeah. And then and we I moved think, this. I think more, like the functionality of this is gonna be so much better. I think so too. So I'm happy. Maybe you can shower, and like pull back my hair so it doesn't get all wet. I am going to go through really quick exactly what I use for her hair because I'll put up a picture right here of what her hair looks like the other day. I did switch up her hair care routine. Her, what my sister-in-law says, my sister-in-law has really curly hair and so the other day I asked her kind of what she does. I'm gonna walk you guys through what I did because her hair turned out beautifully and that is what we're doing again today. The day before I washed her hair, which I probably won't do this very often, but I put in this hair and scalp oil and I put a lot in there. Like her hair was oily, very oily. She slept with it in her hair. She had it on for like a good like 16 to 20 hours she had in this hair oil. So the shampoo and conditioner that I use on her hair is the Cantu Shea Butter uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. So I shampoo her hair. I still need to figure out if I want to get a clarifying shampoo, but last time I just did two washes of the shampoo, and then I did the conditioner, and then when I put the conditioner in her hair, I just run my fingers through it in the shower, so it just kind of like loosens everything up and makes sure the conditioner gets in every area of her hair. And then when she got out of the shower, while it was still pretty wet, I put in this leave-in conditioner and I put in a good amount, not to make it greasy or anything, but you know, just a good amount to put in her hair. I just like ran my fingers through her hair. I did not brush her, I did not comb it. I don't know what this is, Josie Curls leave-in conditioner. Okay, well since it's so like steamy in there, I can't really do that, but, and then after I put in the leave-in conditioner, I put in this mousse and again I, I don't think i actually ran her my fingers through her hair after this i just scrunched it and then after that i left it and her hair was beautiful like the most beautiful curls i've seen on her hair so far so we're trying it again the only thing that i know that i want to do is get her like a silk pillowcase or like a silk cap to put on so that Yes, yeah, so that when she's sleeping, it doesn't damage her hair with her pillowcase. She is also three, so her curls do get damaged, and I'm just doing my best to like learn how to maintain her curls so that when she's older, I can just give her all of the information that I know on how to take care of her curls and let her take that and do whatever she wants with that. I just want to set her up for success in the future to love her curls instead of like not know how to take care of them. So that's the goal. Okay, update. Yesterday we moved. Addie's crib 
in her room and last night she slept through the night i don't know if it was a crib placement or just chance but she slept through the night oh when is it when i also have to tell you guys a really funny story of something that ella drew at dance today no let's not put that in your mouth how do you like your crib on the other side of the room tell us no <gasps> no well, your sleep, you don't says, like it? your sleep says otherwise. I guess Addie doesn't like it. We like it. She slept through the night. We like it. Those are kind of like how it works at dance. They both have different classes, but they're right after each other. Ella waits while Avery dances, and then Avery waits while Ella dances. And while they're waiting, I usually bring like a pen. No, sorry, I usually bring paper and like colored pencils and markers or pens or whatever for them to draw on. So for like the span of the time for their class, they will just color and doodle. And most of the time while Avery is dancing, Ella will color a picture for her teacher because they have the same teacher. And then while Ella is dancing, Avery will color a picture for her teacher. While Avery was dancing, Ella was coloring and she, like I'll put up a picture right here of what she colored. She insisted that she give it to her teacher. And for the longest time we were like, why don't we just take this one home? She was talking about how she had her baby, which is Lise, her little bear. Avery had her baby, which is Hickle, her little bear. And she's like, and mommy has a baby too. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like I looked at Ben and we were like, what? Like what is happening? I was, and I was actually going to explain it to you. And you wanted to keep it. Yes, I wanted to keep it. She's like, no, I drew this for my teacher, not you. I know. She like insisted that she give it to her dance teacher, and she ended up giving it to her. I was like, no, why don't we take this one home? Because it was just, it seemed so personal at the time, because it was, she had me draw everyone's names on it, too. So, oh. A Addie saying hi to herself in the mirror, but she was talking about how mommy had a baby in her belly I don't know. It was just really funny I'm definitely in fact 100% do not because of the circumstances of how you're confirmed that you do not if you know what I mean I was just kind of funny and Ella is the one who's always like I want another baby Do you hear her say that all the time? She's like I want another baby Do you remember when I showed you that the rain camera footage and when we were just eating breakfast and I was yeah. like having a conversation with them and Ella goes I want a baby. And she, I was like, do you want a boy or girl? She goes, I want a baby boy. Bro or yeah, baby brother. Brothers. She said brother. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ella, come here. Tell me about the picture that you drew for mama. Or that you actually drew it for your teacher. But with mommy with a baby in her belly. I had Lisa in my tummy. Uh-huh. And Hickle and Avi's tummy. Mm-hmm. We were all snowmans. We were all snowmans. And we had babies. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I drew the carrot nose. The carrot nose. The, the orange nose. Uh huh. Why are you going to talk to Eve? No, I just wanted to see you and ask you about your picture that you drew. You're so cute. Do you want a baby? I want a boyfriend. Oh! <laughs> ben! What? Come here. What did you just say? I want a boyfriend. I said, do you want a baby? And what did you say? I want a boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> well, he can't be in our family, sweetie. She doesn't want a baby. She wants a boyfriend. Yeah, that's a while away. We don't need to start worrying about that now. But if you want a boy, then that would be your brother. That wouldn't, that wouldn't be your boyfriend. Do you boyfriend. want a brother or a boyfriend? A boyfriend. Well, well, that didn't happen for a while. Yeah. With him. Oh, you want to get married? <laughs> she's she's always been like that. Yeah. Yes, Ella has always talked about getting married. You want to get married? Yeah. We went to a dress store the other day. Do you remember that? And there was like this oh, pretty yeah. dress. It was a black dress with gold stars on it. And she said that was the dress oh, she wanted yeah. to get married in. Huh? Hey, mommy. Yeah. I cleaned up my I dead up my bed. Thank you. That's amazing. Do you want another baby? I do want another baby because Ella's showing not the baby. Ella doesn't share this baby, <laughs> Nicole, and that's why you want another mm -hmm. one. Yeah. So that you maybe. can have it. Oh, maybe I'll have a boy and a brother. Oh, you want a boy and a brother? Yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe you married me. You want me to marry you? Yeah, because. I'm your best friend. Oh, you're so sweet. I am your best friend. Oh, no. 
I'll be your best friend forever. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in our next video. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye guys.